Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning, good afternoon, good day Okay, we meet again uh, Today, I'm going to talk about a first part in voltage regulation We are going to talk about voltage drop in AC circuit, alternating current circuit. To understand this concept, you need to first use your four acquired knowledge that you already have for this, which is the first one is the AC circuit, second one is phasor diagram, third one is vector addition, and fourth one is Pythagoras theorem. Okay, vector addition and Pythagoras theorem you already learned in high school. AC circuit and phasor diagram, you are really in circuit analysis. Okay, let's start. Consider an AC circuit. We got a voltage source, E, with the angle of delta. We got line impedance, R plus JX. We got a load connected to the circuit. Okay, and this load draw current, load current with the angle of theta. And then we have another voltage that we measure on the load side. So there's two voltage. Voltage at the source side and the voltage at the load side. And in between them, there's line impedance. Okay, this is the equation where the E equals to V plus I multiplied by the line impedance, R plus JX. Where is the voltage drop? There. Boom. Voltage drop is at the line impedance. And uh, mathematically, we define this as I multiplied by R plus JX. Okay, let's shrink this, put it aside, and then we see the phasor diagram. Okay, there's three cases in this uh, voltage drop in AC circuit. The first one is a unity power factor load where the load is unity power factor. In this case, I put resistor there, so you can see this is unity power factor load. So what happened at unity power factor load? Well, as you can guess, the I is in phase with the voltage. So theta equals zero. When theta equals zero, IR is at the same phase with V. And where is IJX? IJX is always, always perpendicular with the IR. Then we got our E. E is the vector addition of V plus IR plus IX. Okay. So now we will use our Pythagoras theorem where you got three side of a triangle A, B, and C, and you already know C equals to the square root of A square plus B square. So E, our hypotenuse now is E equals to the, the square root of the sum of the first part is V plus IR and then square. Second part is I at square. Case number two, lagging power factor loop. So where is lagging power factor? Do you think the current will go up or it will go down in this case? You're correct. Current is going down. And because current is going down, the IR is going down as well. And as I mentioned before, IX or IJX is always perpendicular with IR. That give us our E now looks like that. How do we get E out of this phasor diagram? This is where Pythagoras theorem comes with trigonometry. That's our triangle. We need to sum all the vectors in this triangle. I put the triangle down and let's zoom in. So as you can see, we got IR and IX rotated at the angle of theta. 
So how do we solve this? We use our trigonometry. So IR, we can extract the vertical information of IR become IR sine theta and the horizontal element of IR at IR cos theta. Same goes to IX. So you will get these four information. If I eliminate all that, you can see that the vertical part becomes Ix cos theta minus Ir sin theta and the horizontal part becomes Ir cos theta plus Ix sin theta. When I zoom out, it's become like this. Okay, now we use our Pythagoras theorem. C equals to the square root of a square plus b square. There we got e equals to v plus i r cos theta plus i x cos theta square and then plus i x cos theta minus i r sin theta square and then square root everything. Okay, that's our case number two. What about case number three? Yes, as you can guess, now the current is moving up so the voltage drop is rotated counterclockwise and then we got our e like that but i'm not going to solve this for you i leave this for you to derive the equation between e and v make sure you get that okay you don't need to remember all this equation actually you need to understand how phasor diagram works and how this rotation makes the plus and minus signs in the equation. As long as you know this concept, you will never have to remember because you can derive this by yourself. Okay, so we recap. There's unity, four factor, lagging four factor and leading four factor. And this is the phasor diagram in each cases and then we got our equation of E. Okay. For the next part, we will learn how to use this equation in calculating voltage regulation where it is a very important topic in transformers and in synchronous generator. See you on the next video.